Eurozone services, PMIs, stabilising. UK, um, according to market, the data providers of those PMIs, firing on all cylinders. So why are we in the red here? It's front and centre all around the US on two fronts. There's a few jitters uh, ahead of the non-farms on Friday. Obviously, that we've had mixed picture there over the last couple of months in terms of the US employment status. Uh, but of course, the big story uh, is all around the tapering and or withdrawal of QE. Uh, will they, won't they? Um, it's slightly ironic, of course, that uh, as such time as they begin to trail off QE, that will be because the US economy is strong enough to stand on its own two feet. The concerns are more around how it's going to be done and on the fact that it's got to be done over a gradual basis. Yeah, okay, well, European stocks down around 1% um, as we speak. The UK, um, I mentioned there the PMIs. The PMIs seem to suggest the UK is the fastest growing G7 economy of all um, right now. Um, when will the economic fundamentals start to lift the FTSE? Well, it's, it's an interesting question, simply because, of course, uh, in terms of a barometer for the UK economy, one tends to look more towards the FTSE 250 rather than the 100, which is um, littered with uh, a number of kind of global companies doing their business offshore. Probably about two thirds or so of companies have got uh, dollar facing or dollar denominated businesses. But in terms of the UK, you're right, the picture does seem to be improving slightly. We'll get more of a take next week when we get the latest UK unemployment employment figures, but clearly, uh, as we've seen from the last few months, the Bank of England hasn't seen the need to inject any more liquidity in terms of uh, QE, for mm -hmm. example. Um, interest rates look like they're uh, going to stay where they, where they are for some considerable time yet. Um, so it's positive from a UK economy point of view, and as I say, if, if you need to find some stocks that might be benefiting from that, such as the house builders, for example, FTSE 250 is probably the place to look.